Day 25 of the Switching the Linux 30 Day Challenge. So in this video, I wanted to go over some of the day one challenges that still exist today, how I've either overcome them or at least negated them to the point where I don't care that much. Uh, there's still a couple that just kind of nag at me that I just don't like per se, and I think I'm gonna continue that going forward. We'll, we'll see though. Um, this is gonna be the final video. Uh, for this series up until the conclusion of whether or not I'm switching or going forward or what all I'm doing. I'm gonna make that decision here in about five days at the 30 day mark. But for this one, I just kinda of wanna recap some of my gripes that I keep running into with Linux and uh, what I can do maybe to solve them going forward. So overall day one issues that still persist is one, the Outlook replacement. I still miss Outlook. Uh, Evolution, I hate. Uh, Thunderbird, I tried it again. I hate it even more. The IMAP for, you know, there's no Exchange Office add-in. I tried TySync or whatever it was called, but it doesn't actually do an Exchange Active Sync um, for mail. It still forces you to use IMAP, which was not a good solution by any means. Uh, Evolution at least had a plug-in for Office 365 or Active Sync or Exchange Sync, however, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it worked, but it just was very ugly, and I just didn't like the statics of the program. Hurry was the closest out of all the Linux programs that I tried as an Outlook replacement. It was at least modern, and it had a good uh, look to it. However, uh, there was some little bugs here and there as it's still a pretty new software to the scene. However, the sync with Office 365 worked pretty seamlessly and uh, overall, I still use it on a day-to-day -day at my work computer. However, it is not always up. I usually stick on Outlook online. So I'm on you know outlook.office.com and i am got Outlook on the web up almost all the time. So not really entirely pleased with that solution, but it is what it is. Uh, as far as other issues that I've had since day one, uh, most of everything else I've complained about has pretty much disappeared. I mean, Photoshop and GIMP and all those, you know, if you heard me go back and forth and Krita, uh, I've learned to kind of appreciate each one in their own right. I've even done some scripting directly in GIMP to emulate some of the Photoshop and also the I, a user left in the comments how to make you know GIMP look more like Photoshop and all these things have made GIMP a lot more bearable so I think I raged a couple videos back on GIMP and I think some of that was just an adjustment period um, but overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with that solution I'm not needing to go back into Photoshop for anything the only thing I can think of uh, in Photoshop that I haven't learned yet in GIMP is creating flames and things of that nature that I already knew in Photoshop. However, that's more of an advanced kind of technique uh, to where, you know, I'm sure GIMP does it. I just haven't really delved into it and I didn't really feel like making any clickbait uh, thumbnails yet where I'm on fire screaming. Uh, that's probably to come. But uh, that is it for day one gripes um, going forward past that. Uh, I do have multiple environments that I'm booting into. So my home PC is all Ubuntu. Uh, my work, I did leave that on Fedora from day one, and I still haven't had any issues with it. So uh, multiple boot environments, I'm pretty satisfied with just the current state of those two things. I wouldn't change anything except for maybe my distribution just to kind of try some others out that so many users have commented about. But I'm gonna wait till this challenge is over for that. So to round out this update, uh, one thing that is a lot of people ask, so one person asked in the comments at least, as far as the kernel update to 4.19, how'd that go? Went pretty good, I'm on day two or three of it, or one, I don't know, sometime. And it has gone very well. I see performance increases, a little more stability, and overall very happy with 
4.19. As far as my stuttering or the video playback on my machine itself getting stuck in parts, I don't know if it's doing it or not. I think I might be going crazy. I think 4.19 solved it, but I'm not entirely sure. There's still sometimes if if it's still there, it's definitely been mitigated some, and uh, it's definitely an improvement from where it was at. So I'm not entirely sure there. I'll keep uh, you informed, kind of update you on that at the conclusion video of the 30-day challenge. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and I'll get back to you. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, please hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.